Hello everyone, welcome back to my Watch Dogs video. Today we are going to continue with the main story. As you saw in my last video, I showed you the intro to it and like a little bit of the start up when we chose our character, which was originally this guy, Andrew Cassidy. He was really fun. So I went through, as you can see, and did a few open world activities, nothing major. Got a few characters. But today we're going to carry on with my favourite character at the moment, Samson. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. Well, if you like any of the videos that I do and you're enjoying this, please leave a like or subscribe and I will let the video play on. Enjoy. Heard you need some help. What's up? You're the crew that's been sticking it to Albion. Can't believe someone else is. Thought I was alone, right? Not doing much, just putting the word out. But you? Taking action, mate. What else can we do? I'm not going to sit and watch while this city burns. Albion's got to go, but they're not leaving without a good ass kicking. What's your intel, then? Almost got clip finding this. All of Albion's operational data for the entire city. Convoy routes, surveillance targets, assets. It's all there. Thinking you can make good use of that. That's a goddamn truth. Here's a sample. Albion's closed King's Cross to the public, right? But what people don't know is that they're using it as their logistics center. Materials, troops, whatever. A lot of it runs through there. You want to give the people a huge boost? Hit that place. Put it out of commission, and you'll severely hamstring Albion's operations here in Camden. Hell, everywhere. That's the plan, then. operational plans are just what we needed to really get some traction. We'll have to take a close look at this. Now, how do we take King's Cross offline? Albion's housed a massive hybrid power generator in there. Output must be immense. You cause a power surge in that base and boom. Yeah? And how do you know this, mate? That's not the kind of intel you can find online.
getting to that generator ain't gonna be easy. They've locked it up tighter since I last saw. What do I do? My news drones are still in here. They should be functional. You can use one of them. Probably have better luck piloting it too, yeah? Well, causing a power surge in a hybrid power generator isn't like making a toasting. We're going to need detailed specifications. We need to dig into this. Are you seeing this? Cool, looks bloody complicated. Newsy's he's got a pretty functional camera. Would a picture do you, Bagley? It would indeed. According to this, there's an override code that'll get us into the generator's system. That's it. Use the code on the generator and I can trigger a power surge. There should be enough to take King's Cross offline. And the rail system too. Here we go. We got a gold mine of information out of St. Pancras. Albion convoys, informants, gear, you name it. Everything we need to ignite the people of London, like we did in Camden. Derail Albion's operations and give the people a reason to rise up borough by borough. The more we do that, the more we'll get allies flocking to the cause. We'll show London that DedSec is here for them. That was off the chain, mate. I knew DedSec weren't the bad guys Albion was saying. Now the rest of Camden will too. Thanks. Thanks. Now that you've shown the borough what DedSec is really all about, there are gonna be folks wanting to join up. A lot of people have been looking for a way to fight back. In fact, there's one in particular I suspect will contact you very soon. I happen to know they're champion at the bit. We welcome all types, mate. Gonna need everyone on board to unfuck London. You're still alive. I owe Sabina Tenor. Not only that, but your resistance handiwork just opened up a whole new source of information. So now I spy with my hypothetical eye something interesting at the Ministry of Civic Management. No rest for the wicked. What's up? The Signals Intelligence Response Service, or SIRS, or the Earl Grey Gestapo, have developed a surveillance technology called AR Reconstruction. It's the leading edge of privacy rights violation, and thus it could be very useful in our attempts to find Zero Day.
What's up with him, Bagley? Albion just placed him under severe data restriction. Why? Seems he's been looking into the activities of two particular field personnel. Somebody at Albion must want to shut down his pointed inquiries. Well, there's smoke, there's fire, innit? Let's see what's got the mercs they spooked. Right, here's the coordinates of the goons in question. See if you can't work out what they're up to. I'm here. In theory, the AR reconstruction should allow me to use various sources of surveillance data to rebuild past events. Access a data relay, and I can scrape all the metadata for this area. That's it. Now, let's take this autocratic wet dream for a test drive.
CTOSAR. Data reconstruction in progress. Cool. Wouldn't mind the home version, know what I mean? For research purposes. You're right. We definitely need this extremely cool thing I want for investigating Zero Day. Shit, for some reason I can't clone it to our servers. All right, access the network here, and let's see if we can't find out where to nick one. Located the CTOS hub. Aha! The SIRS has deployed this technology at their HQ, and I've just nabbed their manual on how to set up the system. Now, Scarpa, you can't steal their toy if they throw you in the gulag. But no one's just going to hand over this AR tech, right, Bags? The program is hosted on a server that's on the roof of SIRS HQ. All you have to do is grab the whole thing, then take it to a few high-density locations so I could recalibrate it to the Deadset network and clone my own version. Hold up. The server's on the roof. You've got a plan, I hope. Someone with access to a cargo or construction drone will be able to fly it off of there. Sounds like a job for your teammate. Time to pass the baton. Nice to welcome another tough nut to the crew. Strength and unity, right? Oh, yes. I'm ready, willing, and able to serve. Fuck yeah. Right. Welcome aboard, etc., etc. I'll give you the speech later. Right now, we need you and your big, strong drone friend to get on top of SIRS HQ and steal a server. Think you can handle that? Heading there now.
Well, here I am. I'll highlight the server with the AR reconstruction software. It's out of reach, so you'll need to use a heavy cargo drone to steal it. The server's been loaded into your vehicle. Off you go now. Quickly, but not too quickly. Wouldn't want any accidents. I get the feeling Bagley is a bad influence. Adios. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. This will do. Remain in the area until I've downloaded enough data to the server. Download complete. I need a wider sample of data, so I'm pushing you the coordinates to a new location. data from the surveillance infrastructure. Nearby CTOS drones, civilian optics, CCTV, and then it assembles those scraps into what happened in this location 24 hours ago. Fantastic. CTOS AR. Data reconstruction in progress. All right. Scraping data from optics, CTOS cameras, microphones, laptops. Say, do you reckon SRS uses this to watch people shag? Fucking hell. Do they use it for anything but watching people shag? I believe we're in trouble, Bagley. Well, shit. Can you do anything to lose your new friends? Maybe invite them to a pottery night or overshare something personal. Whatever you do, just get to the last location in one piece. Oh, for Christ. All right. Transfer complete. I'm missing one last data set. Pushing you the coordinates to the location now.
CTOSAR. Data reconstruction in progress. These bloody drones seem to fancy me. Don't let the drones destroy the server before I'm done. Get out of the lorry and take care of them. Shoot them. Throw rocks at them. Destroy them psychologically with cyberbullying. Just keep them busy until the transfer is complete. I've got it. Now, we can't lug around this server forever. We should probably wipe our prints off it anyway. Keep talking. I'll overload the CPUs to cause a power spike and destroy the battery unit. The electromagnetic pulse should destroy both the server and the drones. So, you know, run! Well, that was fun, wasn't it? We pulled off a heist, made life a bit harder for the tyrants of the world, and most importantly, I got a new toy to play with. Now, run along back to the safe house. Sabine wants you and your new teammates for a briefing. Someone else sloughed off work, and now it's your turn. Let's do it.
not know. Criminals are waiting to prey on your kindness. Well done, team. It's good to see the safe house filling up again. The only way we're going to keep London from falling into total oppression is by rebuilding the resistance. We need to recruit, train, build back our arsenal. The people are itching to rise up and take their city back. We just need to show them that dead sec are fighting along with them. That's all well and good, but it's the power brokers that need to be brought down. Albion PMCs have occupied this city. Anyone they don't like gets locked up and beaten. Don't forget Clan Kelly. The criminal element is taking advantage of the situation too. Fair, but remember that this zero-day hacker group is still out there. They took out DedSec once, and it's a good bet they'll try again. I believe they were responsible for the bombings and framed DedSec. With your help, I plan to get to the bottom of this mystery. I'd say that's a full docket. Enough talk. Let's unfuck London. I found a lead that may help us unravel more about Zero Day and the bombings we ate shit for. I picked up an encrypted signal from the Tone Conference site that's been broadcasting on a loop since the night of the bombing. Go investigate. You might even get to try out that fancy new AR tech we stole. I mean, creatively shared. I hope you enjoyed it and we will get to the next mission on another day. Thank you for watching.